esteemed guests for today's uh, program, Professor D. N. Reddy Garu, Professor Gopal Reddy Garu, our beloved chairman, Dr. Gautam Rao Garu, our beloved secretary, Dr. Manohar Reddy Garu, special guest, Professor Subramanian Garu, directors of various units, HODs, faculty, staff, and my friends from press and media. I take it as a privilege to give a brief report about our day-to-day -day academic activities and how we are able to reach the needs of the students. In VBIT, we have established a strong system of academics. Well before the commencement of the classwork, the timetables will be prepared, fine-tuned and subject allocation will be done to all the faculty and each and every faculty will have to give a PowerPoint presentation dwelling about the contents of their subject, topics beyond the syllabus and topics which are useful for various competitive examinations like JNTU, H exams, then engineering services, GATE, civil services and so on. There will be some experts from other departments who will be making a general observations there about their presentations and giving useful suggestions and remarks. And simultaneously all the HODs as well as directors will be giving a presentation about their activities. Just last week, we have completed the presentation part. For instance, Director R&D, Dr. Gopadatta, has dwelled about the research activities of academic year 2018-19 and the activities that are proposed for the academic year 1920. And therein, we will be encouraging the faculty and we will be appreciating the faculty to publish good quality journals like SCI Index or Scopus Index. And at this juncture, I would like to thank our management that faculty who have published journals in indexed journals like SCI, they will be duly acknowledged and appreciated. So, we believe that research and development is an integral part of academic activities and we uh, give enough facilities for the faculty to go for publications in addition to their regular academics. This is one part of it. Then each and every HOD will be given the academic freedom in the sense that they can have some slots to carry out horizontal activities like value added programs. We believe in the fact that only degree at the end of four years is not going to be sufficient for a student to survive in this stringent environment. So, we believe that students should have all around development. For example, communication skills, body language, then good quality grammar, vocabulary, they are very, very important. In addition to the basic subject knowledge. Somebody was telling that uh, touch the sky but don't leave the ground. So, we insist the students that they should be very, very sound about their engineering basics. And for this purpose, we involve senior faculty to teach first and second years. Because at first and second years, we will be having some elementary courses. For instance, for mechanical, there will be a subject called thermodynamics. Very difficult to teach. But without thermodynamics, we cannot perform any energy activities or any analysis and difficult to teach any subject related to energy conversation. Similarly, we have something called basic electrical engineering and electronic device and systems. So, we, we realize that these subjects must be taught in a very e effective way. So, for this purpose, uh, we request the HODs to depute senior faculty for junior classes. It does not mean that we ignore third and fourth years. They will be equally treated. And further, we have a very strong feedback system. We take feedback from students at regular intervals, formally as well as informally. We inquire about various academic aspects and we have got about 20-24 parameters by way of which we try to 
assess the performance of a faculty in teaching the assigned subject. If we feel that the faculty is not up to the expectation of the students, then we call the faculty individually and we tell them the feedback given by the students. For instance, uh, not prepared properly, not doing enough number of numericals. Like that, there may be some minute problems, minor problems, which you would like to, which we will be addressing there and then itself. Then everywhere we will find some slow learners. VBIT is not an exception. In a class of 60, we may have some 12 to 15 students. We, you are, we are not able to do up to our expectation, 12 to 15 students. And to cater to the needs of the slow learners, we have a strong mentoring system. Right at the admission, we allot one faculty for 20 students. In first year, there will be a faculty from h and department and there will be a faculty from concerned branch. So first year, both these faculty will look into the needs of the students. Need could be academic need, need could be general need, need could be with respect to any sort of problems created by the seniors, any type of need the student can ventilate to this uh, mentor. And after the first year, this first year faculty will get detached and the student will be uh, connected to the department mentor. And we have a mentoring book, this, which will be maintained by the faculty for the entire four years of the student. In this mentoring book, we record various issues, various complaints given by the students. And we inform the parents if needed, by way of a call or by way of a message. And we make sure that whatever issue the students has, immediately they are resolved. Maximum at H word is level. Very few cases will come up to my level or management level. So this sort of mentoring we will be doing to the students on a regular basis. At any point of time, even a student of 2013-17 batch, say computer science, if you call the concerned faculty and he or she can tell about her students or his students. So that sort of care we are taking. Then there will be regular HODs meetings, minimum uh, once in a fortnight, wherein HODs will be asked to give various uh, information, various inputs about the departmental activities. And uh, these inputs will be properly taken and whatever needs the departments have will be fulfilled with the support of our uh, management. So these things we are doing on a regular basis to improve the quality of teaching learning process. Further, when we realize that uh, some students, instead of all these, are not able to cope up with some basic subjects like applied physics, uh, mathematics, then basic electrical engineering, for them we will be arranging special classes at the end of the working hours, maybe 4.30 to 6 or 4.30 to 6.30 and we will take care of their logistics and all that. Every year we are doing it. Well before we do it, we, try, we get the information from the students, we send a circular. If anybody is interested in having uh, repetition class in so and so subjects, you can register with so and so faculty. All this will be very clearly intimated to the students. So that the students will get uplifted and they will be able to minimize the problems related to some uh, subjects. This is all sorts of things we will be doing in the front of academics. And in order to have other activities, we have got more than 24 students clubs, which are planned, the activities are planned by the students, organized by the students, and uh, very well executed by the students. We will provide a faculty mentor to see that all the activities are smoothly conducted. For instance, IEEE club, it is perhaps number one in the campus. They have got number of prizes at local level, national level, as well as international level as uh, has been pointed out or by our beloved secretary. And we believe in the society, because at the end of the day, students will have to live in the society. Life is all about giving and taking. So students will have to contribute in their respective fields. For this purpose, we have NSS, wherein students will be deputed to nearby villages. They will be going there, identify the needs of the villagers, maybe in, in terms of sanitation, in terms of importance of water, in terms of power, in terms of education, whatever it is. And students will go over there, they will interact with the villagers, get some problems from them, then we'll try to address these problems, which may not be financially related. Maybe once in a week, a 
10 students will go to a government school, teach them maths or physics, whatever it is. And these students will go and tell them about the importance of water, importance of uh, ecology, importance of using plastics. So all these things, very minor, but when you look at in a broader perspective, they become very deadly. So this NSS Juti is one of the very active clubs in, in VBIT. We do have a street cars club, wherein the students uh, will go to various parts of the city and they try to address the needs of underprivileged society. So like this, we encourage the students to participate in all these activities. And well before the commencement of the academic year, the students will be doing their proper.